manifestation does not apply to me. <laughs> well, hello there, YouTube. <sighs> it is currently 12, 13 or 14. And I have a cup of tea. I don't know why I'm drinking tea at 12 a.m. <laughs> but I just am because I love tea. Mari and George loves tea. I don't know why I said my full name, but it's kind of weird. Before you watch the rest of this video, go subscribe. Anyways. Today I would like to talk about uh, my ex. This is a serious, serious problem. I can't even begin to tell you. Like, if I had like two or three like minor inconveniences and I'm just like, oh my God, I'm cursed. Add, okay, fine, understandable. understandable. That's nasty. You can laugh at that, but this, this is not like that. This is, 19 years of my life, guys. 19 fucking years. This is my curse, okay? I am cursed. So basically, long story short, I'm not allowed to expect anything good or expect anything for that matter in my life. I've always had huge surprises come to me. Hey, look at my dark circle. You know what? Even that comes as a surprise because I sleep a shit ton. I sleep like even when i was like 15 16 i used to sleep a lot and i still had these exact same dark circles like they're not even dark circles they're like these dents in my face that just let's not talk about that <laughs> I want to talk about why I'm cursed. Where do I begin? 19 years of being cursed, so... Excuse me if I take a little time. To figure out where to begin with my story of my curse. Like, do I look like a dessert? No, don't answer that. <sighs> okay, anyways, um, moving on to my curse. Literally, if I say something out loud, like anything, it can even be like, okay, my... My room looks bright right now. And the opposite of that would happen. Like, watch. That was an edit, obviously. But um, what I'm trying to say is that this is what happened. My entire life, does anyone else have this curse? Like literally the opposite of everything I say out loud happens. So I can never like get too cocky about something. So for example, if I have like a really important costing and I tell people about it, it's not gonna work out. Or let's say I text a celebrity and I tell someone about it. It's not gonna work out. They're not gonna reply. In fact, they're probably going to block me. Block if I expect to pass a test, I'm going to fail. If I expect to fail a test, I would probably top that class. It is the saddest thing that could ever happen to anyone Manifestation does not apply to me. No matter how hard I manifest, try try and manifest something, the opposite of that is gonna come to me. I cannot manifest for shit. Take for example, my YouTube channel. Or like my video, I, like when I first started off my YouTube channel, I was like, oh my God, it's gonna be so much fun. Like I have like so many video ideas. Like I have, an, I have, in my notes on my phone, I have like 90, 95 video ideas. But as you can see, I think I have like 22 videos on my channel. You know what? I'm thinking of dropping. Oh my God. Talk about college. I hate my college. This is not a story time. This is just me ranting. So like, don't expect any sort of like point to this video or any sort of value out of this video. I'm just putting my thoughts out there, but. Anyways, um, back to my curse. It's like the third time I'm saying that. But, <laughs> sorry, I was just posing for a thumbnail. Anyways, uh, back. If I say that one more time, I'm going to pour this on my face. So, example number one. Um, I'm trying to think of something off the top of my head. When I was in Bangalore and I was trying to like come back home to Dubai and like be with family and all that shit. I applied for an approval to come to Dubai in like April. May and I didn't get an approval up until and my approval actually got rejected and I had to apply again in I think May end and that one got, got approved by the starting of July I guess so after I got the approval I was like oh my god I'm so excited I'm going to Dubai <laughs> little me after 19 years of the same pattern I decided to say that out loud I booked my flight tickets and I was like oh my god guys I'm going to Dubai on the 15th of July <laughs> guess what my flight was rescheduled to the 16th. And then I said, oh my God, guys, I'm going to Dubai on the 16th of July. Guess what? My flight got rescheduled to the 17th. But you know what? On the 16th night and 17th morning, I was like, you know what? Like this, this is, it's gonna get rescheduled again. Like there's no point 
in living like this and getting my hopes up and getting disappointed like my parents have lived like that for 19 years and I don't want to be having to go through that I like putting people through that but I don't want to put myself through that I I I I I still like knowing I kind of knew at the back of my head somewhere in the back of my head deep down deep 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 down that if I say it out loud, it, like the opposite's gonna come because of like the whole pattern and the curse and things like that. But um, what was I saying? My attention span is so like, yeah. So the entire day, I was like, I was at home, I was at Gotham, and I was just like, okay, you know what? This is probably not gonna work out. And we were just watching Netflix, like not giving a shit. Because usually, if it was like the last day I was in Bangalore, we would probably like do something special, get pizza. But this time we were just like, we were just lazing around like any other day. Cause I, I, cause in my head and like what I said out loud, I was like, okay, I'm probably gonna be here for a while. Like I'm probably gonna be here to like the 22nd of July or something because that's when like the lockdown sort of like lifts in Bangalore. But the reason I got um, a, a, a flight is because it was a repatriation flight, repatriation flight. So I was like, I, was, I didn't give a shit guys like i was so prepared to have my flight delayed again and i waited my, okay so mind you my flight was on the 17th at 10 a.m and i waited up until the 17th 3 a.m still expecting my flight to be canceled and guess what i never received a message saying that my flight was going to be canceled so last minute i realized that holy shit i have a flight to catch i had to like pack everything last minute. I had to do a lot of things last minute. It wasn't fun. I was very unprepared. I wasn't emotionally ready for it either. Like emotionally ready to leave the place. You know, God's just like, you know what? I think I'm gonna fill your life with a shit ton of surprises. I don't care if you like it or not, but here you go, surprise. Bitch. Yeah. My point is everything comes as a surprise. And I mean, I probably should be grateful for it, but it's annoying like i literally there's nothing that i've expected in my life that i've gotten i have to expect the worst to get the best i have to expect the best to get the worst i don't know why i would ever want the worst you get what i mean i can never expect the best for myself that's not good for my mental health clearly as you can see look at me look at my personality why do you think i turned out like this because i am cursed but yeah, that was just one example, like one reason ex recent example. And that is probably like the smallest thing. Nasty, nasty. Nasty. <laughs> I think I should probably finish this before I literally fucking slap it on my face. I, okay, I know it sounds stupid. These are just things that I can think of off the top of my head, but trust me when I say like, this is just like, this is just like a brief of the major things that have gone wrong in my life. Like every time I expect to fail a test is when I pass it with really good grades in fact. You know why I go around telling people like, Oh my god, yeah, I don't think I did the test well. Because I know that e even if I like study really hard for it and like I know that after the exam like, okay, I did the best I could and like it is possible that I can get good grades. I would never say that out loud because I know that if I do, I'm going to fail that test. Do you get what I mean? Do you even get to the slightest extent what I f mean? Like, you know, I've even tried to like reverse it. I've tried to like, tried to say out loud that everything I say, the opposite happens. I've tried to like say that out loud so that it sort of like reverses the curse. No luck. I'm making a whole ass video about it because it's genuinely affecting my mental health and I'm going Harley Quinn bat shit crazy. Anyway, with that being said, um, subscribe to my channel, please. If you made it to the end of this video, just leave like a eggplant emoji in the comments. I'm probably just gonna see one there and probably gonna be got them, but. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. You're probably going to unsubscribe after this. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.